This is a video on our sugar apples. Uh, I wanted to see how they were doing. They're growing along our road. And we don't water our sugar apples. Now these are not apples. These are in the Anona family or in the Papa family. Uh, they taste nothing like apples. They taste like sweet custard. <clears throat> They're good. They have a lot of seeds. I prefer the chewy ones. I believe these are the chewy green sugar apples. I'm fairly certain that's what these are. Though, as with all nursery grown trees, it seems everyone gets their labels mixed up. So there's some Thai lessards mixed in here, unfortunately. It's <clears throat> not a big fan of them. Um, we have a lot of sugar apples. We don't water our sugar apples. They are a tree that requires zero water in Florida here for us, <clears throat> from seed to fruit. And they're intercropped with ginger and the orchard floor, a weed strewn herb and grass orchard floor. And it started raining, but these set fruit even during the drought time. It's, you know, they're gonna, they're still pumping out flowers. They'll pump out flowers until, geez, August, September, October sometimes. It looks like there's a lot of fruit on these things, and it looks like there's a lot more to be set. Uh, these trees have been in the ground five years, so they're right at the time when they should be coming into full production. <clears throat> and this tree appears to have hit its stride. Now, Anonas do not like some foliar sprays. It'll turn the fruit black, like you have anthracnose, and some of them, and like compost teas, don't do it on the fruit. And uh, black soldier fly leachate. If these were like bigger and I never tested on the younger fruit, but if they were bigger and about pick in size and they were still green and you spray black soldier fly leachate on and around them, they'll ripen right up without any flavor. They'll just get soft. <clears throat> just been my experience, don't do it. Thought I picked all the fruit off from last year, but I missed some. We don't hand pollinate our trees. They're all pollinated by nature. These are like zero maintenance trees for Florida. What they don't like is water. They don't like low spots. They don't like being planted next to ponds. They don't like, uh, flooded areas. They don't seem to mind never being watered. And they're good. When they're good, they're good. But when they're not, they're irritating. Hopefully now that these trees are getting some age to them, There's our uh, Genova red elama. We have about 10 elamas. I think about five different types. Most of them seed grown. It looks like a good year for our sugar apples here at Frog Valley Tropical Fruit Farm. Um, The reason why I have so many sugar apples is because I wanted Adamoyas, but I couldn't find them. Um, so 
I couldn't find enough. You know, I planted a lot of trees. <clears throat> so I needed a, you know, I wanted about a hundred Atamoya, but I wound up with sugar apple, the chewy ones and some red ones. The red ones don't produce. For us, like the green ones do. Very scant production on the red. So we are growing all our own Atamoyas and slowly I'm planting those near these trees to eventually replace. This tree doesn't have any on it. Oh, it's got flowers though. Little flowers, needs big flowers to make fruit. Little ones don't really do it. Like little ones like that. The random tree, so big flowers like this, that's the kind that produce the fruit. They like manure, they like compost. Um, of course, you know, you don't put it right next to the trunk, you put it outside the tree line, but, you know. So right here, all the way around the edge of the tree is where I would put it or do put it uh, when there's no fruit on them. And basically all over the orchard floor. Uh, I guess we might have to sell sugar apples this year, but I'm gonna wait until I see what they're like. Valley Tropical Fruit Farm. I hope you have a good day. It's our sugar apples.